Ukraine's air defense forces destroy four more Russian helicopters. The air defense units of the Ukrainian Air Force have destroyed four more Russian helicopters and one enemy aircraft. According to Ukraine Form, the Ukrainian Air Force Command reported. On March 14, the air defense units of the Ukrainian Air Force destroyed four more helicopters and one plane of the occupiers, the statement said. The command also confirmed that an enemy cruise missile had been shot down by a Ukrainian fighter aircraft. Several airstrikes on Russian military convoys were carried out by the Ukrainian Air Force's Su-24M bombers and Su-25 attack aircraft. In addition, radar spotted a Russian four-post reconnaissance UAV crossing the state border of Ukraine in the direction of Poland. According to the Air Force, the Russian drone first circled over the Yavoriv military base, apparently studying the effects of a rocket attack in the Lviv region, then flew to Poland, returned to Ukrainian airspace and was shot down by Ukraine's air defense units. The search for the remnants of the UAV is underway. There is also information that an Orlan-10 drone, which is in service with the Russian army, crashed in Romania. Ukraine's air defense forces have already destroyed 45 enemy air targets since the beginning of the war. Moldovan President Maya Sandu has visited a checkpoint on the Ukrainian-Moldovan border to discuss the status of border crossing operations, queues and the procedure for registration of humanitarian goods. According to Ukraine Forum, the State Border Guard Service of Ukraine reported. Our strength is in support and unity. We thank Moldova for its help. The President of the Republic of Moldova, Maya Sandu, visited the Palanka Udobny Mayaki checkpoint on the Ukrainian Moldovan border, the statement said. During the meeting, special attention was paid to Ukrainians heading to Moldova for evacuation. Sandu expressed her deep support and full assistance to Ukraine. She also talked to volunteers who help refugees and thanked them for their help to Ukrainian citizens. On February 24, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine. Russian troops have been shelling and destroying key infrastructure, residential areas of Ukrainian cities and villages using artillery, multiple launch rocket systems and ballistic missiles. Martial law was imposed in Ukraine and general mobilization was announced. Ukraine filed a lawsuit against the Russian Federation with the UN's International Court of Justice in The Hague. Melitopol Mayor Ivan Fedorov, who was abducted by Russian invaders, is likely to have been taken to Russian-occupied Luhansk. The relevant statement was made by Zaporizhia Regional Military Administration on Telegram, and Ukraine Form Correspondent reports. According to the available information, the abducted mayor of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, is held in Russian-occupied Luhansk, where he is being accused of terrorism, the report states. Meanwhile, the fate of Dniprorodny mayor Yevhen Matviev, who is also held captive, is remaining unknown at the moment. In Berdyansk, 
people have taken to the streets to protest against the Russian world today. In Melitopol, local residents were not able to hold a rally in support of their mayor, Ivan Fedorov, as Russian occupiers surrounded the central square and pushed them back. Russian invaders have shelled a column of civilians evacuating from Hostomil, leaving one woman killed and one more person wounded. The relevant statement was made by the National Police of Ukraine in Kyiv region, and Ukraine Form Correspondent reports. On March 14, 2022, in cooperation with local self-government authorities, Buka District Police Department helped to evacuate 500 civilians from Dmitrivka and Nemesheva. The evacuation from Hostomil was carried out in two columns. The first column of 10 buses, transporting mainly mothers and children, elderly people and persons with disabilities, reached the destination point successfully. The second column of four buses was shelled with mortars by Russian invaders. As a result, a bus driver was wounded. A couple driving a Volkswagen car as part of the column also came under fire. Sadly, the woman died at the scene, the police noted. Other civilians continued to move forward despite shelling and eventually got to a safe location. A reminder that, on February 24, 2022, Russian President Vladimir Putin initiated a full-scale invasion of Ukraine, starting a war. Russian troops are shelling and destroying the key infrastructure facilities, launching airstrikes on residential areas in Ukrainian cities and villages.